Approximately 300 solar systems, including our own, are under the domination of a computer life form, the GCS WT. Having been under the cruel control of the GCS WT for centuries, the humans unite and plan to end the oppressive control of this machine. Unfortunately, the human underground movement is detected by the Interplanetary Security Force of the GCSWT before the overthrow can begin. The humans are branded as an unnecessary and dangerous race, resulting in their systematic genocide. But the movement had not completely died. Edwin Fees, a scientist from the fifth planet in the Altile solar system, managed to penetrate the security code of the GCSWT and destroy the data in the data bank. The humans believed that the GCSWT would be inoperable for 300 hours while it was recovering from the destroyed data. The last hope left for the humans was to reach the planet Earth while the GCSWT was inoperable and destroy the computer life form. With this task in mind, the starship Soul Feast left for a Alright, this journey. is Soul Feast for the Sega CD. I think the best part about this game is how I managed to get it. Which isn't a slam on the game, it's just that I got it in a pretty awesome way. I'm a pretty big proponent of using Craigslist to find totally awesome video game deals. And there's this guy that I buy stuff from regularly. He always has a bunch of Sega stuff, but no one else is really interested in Sega stuff around here. So I usually end up, you know, buying a lot of it from him. And, uh... I was checking out all the crap he had laid out on the floor in his basement, and, uh... He had a Model 1 Genesis on top of a Model 1 Sega CD with a 32X. All three power adapters, all the video cables that even had the adapter so the 32X would work with the Model 1 Genesis, everything. And he let me have it for 20 bucks. So I was thrilled. I was very successful in my uh, Craigslisting missions. And uh, I take it home and fire it all up. And I mean, this thing even had the RF shielding in between the 32X and the Genesis, and the RF shielding in between the Genesis and the Sega CD. Like, it was complete, perfect condition. And, uh, really, really glad I got a hold of it, right? So I turn it on, and lo and behold, there's a copy of Soul Feast in there. So I fire it up and test it with Soul Feast, and found out that it's a really good side-scrolling space shooter. Uh, the only knowledge I had of Soul Feast prior to that was, uh, the Nintendo nerd who's like, uh, Soul Feces. And that could not be further from the truth. If you like side-scrolling space shooters, this game is fucking great. I absolutely love it. I think the music's really catchy. It's nice having games from back then with the high-quality music and sound effects. Like, this is a pretty catchy little song going on. Now, I, now, admittedly, I'm not huge into the uh, side-scrolling space shooters. I've only played a couple. I'm, I'm more of a Galaga type of guy, you know, just the real old-school arcade classics. Um, this game handles very well. The enemies are cool. Look at that giant space spider. It's awesome. The controls are very tight. It's very responsive. I've never died and thought, oh, this game's a cheap bastard. 
I've only died and thought, God, I suck at this game, because I'm just not good at this particular genre. Damn it. But, uh, yeah, this is a very enjoyable game. Filled with, you know, very interesting space baddies that need battling. So I would definitely give this game a uh, very enthusiastic Mondo Pool rating, just because I had a lot of fun playing it. It was a nice little surprise when I got it for free. And, you know, there's a pretty decent amount of challenge, but most of these uh, styled games are, you know, kick my ass pretty bad. Uh, but, you know, if you stick with them, you get better and better at it. It's one of those games that we don't have today where they require memorization going through it a thousand times, where it's basically built on its uh, infinite replayability, you know, memorizing levels and getting damn good at them. So if you like side-scrolling shooters and you have a Sega CD, I definitely recommend it. But if you buy a Genesis Sega CD 32X combo and it comes for free, it's all the more sweeter. But I've really enjoyed the music and uh, everything in this game. It's been a lot of fun playing it, so I highly recommend it. <laughs> yeah, some of the enemies are pretty cool, like the crazy flailing armed robot a few seconds ago. It's pretty good. So if you if you do like this particular genre, I think you'll have a good time with this game. Uh, as always, I got more videos and reviews and stuff on the way, and head on over to MondoCool.net to check out the Mondo Cool Cast. Thanks for watching, guys.